With your look around the Air Force, I'm Staff Sergeant Jasmine Granger. A Total Force Air Crew flew a KC-46A Pegasus on a non-stop mission halfway around the world and back last month. The 36-hour, 16,000-mile multi-crew mission from the 157th Air Refueling Wing at Pease Air National Guard Base in New Hampshire was the longest in Air Mobility Command's history. Air Guard and active duty crews switched out during the flight from the U.S. East Coast to the International Dateline in Guam before heading back to New Hampshire. The record-breaking endurance flight tested the Pegasus in several areas, from refueling to air crew sustainment. Active duty and Hawaii Air National Guard airmen worked with the Royal Australian Air Force, building integration and interoperability for air mobility missions. Exercise Global Dexterity included C-17A Globemaster III aircraft from Australia and the U.S., with crews from both countries working together as an integrated unit out of RAAF Base Amberley in Queensland, Australia. Major Joshua Moore, 15th Wing Director of Agile Combat Employment, says the advantages of training together mean sharing best practices, exchanging ideas, and being able to work as a single crew in a conflict situation. Pregnant airmen and guardians assigned to 10 specific bases may be eligible to participate in the maternity uniform pilot program that's underway now. The test issues free maternity uniforms during pregnancy through up to seven months postpartum. Updates to the program since it first launched include liability for lost or damaged uniforms, eligibility to participate in the program, and how maternity clothing allowances factor in. The program is a result of the Rent the Camo Bill passed in 2020. Experts say it's a way to remove potential barriers for service members and improve their quality of life so they can focus on executing the mission. And that's your look around the Air Force.